Welcome back everyone to Dragon Quest XI and in the previous part we retrieved the red orb uh, that Eric was after and we the next next thing to do is to head to this door of departure or whatever it is and see what happens there so let's see we've also leveled up so we're now level 9 on both characters so that's quite nice got a few more spells to work with and we now have our first group spell um, to <coughs> take out a group of enemies provided they are the same enemy it doesn't work if it's a different type of monster that's the only thing sparky sap and oh, buzzberries Anything around here? Oh, there's another one of those targets, but we don't have the crossbow yet. Thought I saw something shining here. Right, we need to go. Yeah, let's go up there. I haven't seen a treasure chest out in the wild in a while, actually. Monsters again. Ooh, what's happening now? Oh dear. <gasps> you know who that is, right? Yep. Heliodor soldiers. Oh, and Hendrek. Where's Jasper? Did you really think you would escape me, Dark Spawn? Uh, yes. Damn it! They found us. <laughs> Love how they pull the brakes on those horses. Well, don't just stand there. Come on. It's like a car chase. <laughs> or a horse chase. Fire! Fire. Oh no, don't hurt my horse. He's done nothing to you. No, seize him. Uh, I think Here, not. Not take today. My hand. Ooh, nice catch. Quickly, the keystone. Oh, uh, okay. That's an interesting locking mechanism. You shall What's... not escape me, Dark Spawn! So if you don't have a keystone, you cannot go through that door. Oh, come on. Run! Let's do it. Oh. It's magic. I've teleported them. You think you have won? The game has not even begun. Yeah, well, the game started a few few episodes ago, honey. I think you're a little, little bit late. Whew. We made it. That was too close. Indeed. So, uh... 
where exactly are we? I don't know. I don't know. The Hotto step. Oh no, it's not. Uh, a good opportunity. It's a good time to save, so let's do that. So we went from luscious vegetation to dry as hell for this. She slimes. Okay. Oh. Good XP, let's see. Who else yeah. wants some? Not terrible. I want to fight one of these. It's gonna come with the slimes, isn't it? Yep. Bongo, 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 bongo. I keep forgetting this is the one thing I can do in this game is actually move around in the middle of the battle. Oof. Oh, jeez. Easy. Oh, oh. Slime drop. Medicinal herb, nice. That was a gold chest. I don't think I've seen one of those before. It must be rarer. Must be rarer? Rarer? It must be rarer? Sound like a dog, but... Oh, there's a chest down there, but... I take it. We can't go there, can we? Get there. Yeah, we can't get into that water because it's boiling hot. Or oh, can we? No, we cannot. Search the world for clues. Oh, that's very, uh, very clear. Okay. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fly hands free your uh, what? And deal with altar. Ideal for covering long distances with ease once you arrive near this. Now, I haven't tried that. I don't recall that function in the Switch version, but it's quite handy to have it here. Exactly for what the reason they said. Oh, here we go. The spa. Oh, let's go to the spa. Some R and R.
Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. Not unless they had a keystone too. Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. Okay. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. Rejoice, honored guests. For to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine. I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? Oh, no. The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop <laughs> with your cringe. <laughs> See, basically, he just told um, Eric that he stinks. <laughs> That's one way of acquiring a customer. Hey, you stink. Come to my bathhouse. Or actually, I've got a better, a better line. You do stink. But fret not. Your stink shall disappear. Once you visit our bathhouse. <laughs> Gosh. Nothing breakable, no. There is a book there. Hopefully it could be a recipe. Oh, 100 gold. Ooh, these people are loaded. The Diary of Tetsu the Smith. Yeah. He's talking about mini medals. So he's talking about his journey to go and convert them into items, which is exactly what you do. Um, I'm going to pop in here quickly, see if there's any, any lootable areas. See if there's any better armor that we can get, perhaps. Sorry, people, if you're sleeping or if you're doing anything, no, I... Eh? Two wardrobes, nice. And nothing in that. Plain clothes. All this traveling and all you can give me is plain clothes. Uh, right, so this side has got nothing. Oh, fuck. Oh! Just want to check the back here, actually. Oh, there we go, see? An introduction to armor. Ooh, hello. Bronze armor. Nice. Oh, hello. Twenty gold. Definitely getting a lot of gold, that's for sure. Anything in here? No. But let's First of all, sell up those plain clothes. Even though they only go for 5G, but never mind. Let's see what he's. Oh! Okay, well, don't need any of that. Oh, there's something up back there. Warmer line. Okay, so there's those stairs there and these stairs here. And there's another shop up there. Oh, 
what's that here? Oh, something shiny there. Flurry feather. Anything else? Any treasure? Oh, hang on, there is... Oh, this is just this, okay. Mind. West. The sweat on one's brow, the hammer on hot iron, the life of a smith. <laughs> Don't know why I sounded like a metal, heavy metal singer there. Art of our fathers, a village built on this trade, a proud tradition. Okay, stop speaking in haikus. We need iron ore, the mountains are bound in it, an endless supply. Help us to find it, gather the ore so we so need, a reward awaits. Okay, so we get a book. Uh, recipe. Your words glow like gems, you have a minor spirit, a will of iron. Now seek out that ore, look for crystals in the rocks, there you'll find it, okay? But I do Right. Uh, and there's more stairs there. I don't believe I ever came in here. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize those were... Okay. Let's have a look. What are you selling? Oh, hello. Slime earrings. A pair of pretty earrings in the shape of slimes. This increases defense. Only by two, so I don't think it's worth the 400 gold. Come on. Be serious here. Okay, we can't go over to that side from here, so we have to go back there. Yeah, a lot of these items, yeah, I don't buy them because... Oh, there's another one of those little guys. Um, I don't buy them because um, you'll find them in chests, so there's no point. How dare you! Oh, how Ooh. dare you? Who dare you? Oh, I love her. That's no way to treat a lady. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Well. Your words grate my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. Wow. You must search elsewhere. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. Right. <laughs> She's got attitude, and I love it. <gasps> what? Have I got hmm? something on my face? Ooh. What do we have here? Well... Are you going to tell me your name or not? Uh, all right, go on. Hmm. Could be worse, I suppose. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. Okay. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. So she knows who I am. Yeah, I do remember her, as you probably guessed. Because, you know, with a personality like that, how can you forget her? She's actually really funny, and you guys are going to love her. Uh, what is, what's this go to? Oh, it goes to the back here where... Oh, hello. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Almost missed it. Gold ore. I have the gold ore, but sadly not the talent. Craft a gold ring. Could it be true? Could you have a fun-sized forge? And how? I know how it works. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Please forge a gold ring, and not just a normal one. My son demands it. Well, he can demand anything he wants. I don't want. Cruiserang. Oh, we got a boomerang. Yes. 
take the time I offer you, okay? Okay, so we get a recipe to actually craft the gold ring. Okay, let, let me go now. Put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you didn't have the ring, then you shouldn't have learned to craft it. Well, I have warned you guys before that I'm a terrible singer. Um, so that should not, shouldn't come as a surprise. Right, okay, so we, I don't know whether we can access the forge from here, actually. Um, okay. Let's just have a look around here because things tend to hide in the most unlikely places. Open the door. Oh, there's that. Hardy hide. Wax and thread. And a book. Please be a recipe. A tale of Miko and Ryu. Okay. Oh, there was a dragon. Okay. Anything else? No. Can't go to the back of the building, so that's fine. Um, and here we have an armor shop. Um, somewhere around it for some reason. What's this? Let's do anything? No. Right, let's see. What you selling? Anything else that I need to be aware of? No. Right, let's have a look at armor first. Scale shield. I'm ignoring shields now because i oh, feathered cap, which we can craft anyway. Leather dress. Obviously, they can't wear that. Chain mail. Ooh. That would be lovely. And I might just get it for Eric. Let's see what you are selling. Iron broadsword. Cast iron claymore. Which you don't have enough money for. And another boomerang. Okay. So, you've got nothing that I want. Well, I do want that broadsword, but... We ain't got no money for it. Oh, what's up here? Uh, it's just a spa, I think. I want to have a look around to make sure that I don't miss anything. Oh, there we go. See? Pretty Betsy. Go see uh, Eric offering. Anything around here? No. Well, even if there, I suspect there's anything there. We have no Finally. place to put it. I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. I take it you smell better now. Oh, I can't imagine how We've you would smell better. got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? I would agree, yes. Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Yes, I did, actually. Ah, uh, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her, having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. Hmm. Uh. Where, where, where are you? Oh, 
every founder. Uh, did you just say something? Oh yeah, because I sound like a little girl, Eric. Come on. Where are you? Where did you go? Jeez. Get a grip. Uh, huh. Hmm. Uh, huh? I, I, is that a g g g g g no. You scared us there for a second. I was waiting in the end. You, you said you were g going to take, take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> All right. Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait. Sounds... This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us, and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Uh, really? <laughs> Thank you. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Right. Oh, that's shiny. Shiny. Give it to me, give it to me. I want all the shinies. Holy well, uh... Trying to talk like they do, but very clearly failing at it. So we found a little girl in a spa in a male area, which is, uh, yeah. What? A seeds await rain, okay. Can I change back, please? Okay, I guess we have to. Run, 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 Forrest, run. Oof. Oh, there she is, fighting with the guard. Now nope. listen, you me. listen I to me, you little girl. Question. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen not? your sister. Well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. Wow. <gasps> oh, it's you. Yes. Hey, kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sit? Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. <laughs> huh? Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Maybe you should have asked Gosh, her. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? She's got away with words, and not she? Stuff. I'm not going to let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. Ah. You've got a daddy to find. Oh, that sounds so wrong. Get your knickers in a twist because we've got a daddy to find. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? All right then, yeah. Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. 
Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. Let's hit the bar. Get them shots flowing. Yeah, so Veronica is actually a really nice character to have. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. <gasps> Warnings unheeded. The fish returns to the tree. <laughs> What can deter her? Chop the tree off. Mm. She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding dawns. Oh. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. Ah. And you'll notice that she has a staff. She is a sorceress. No one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. <laughs> a fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely. But I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said. Guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the... Idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh... I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travellers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? Let's do it. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry. I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. Mm. Mm. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're going to be able to keep up? <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. And I'm more can. worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Mm. Right. Let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. All right. No pressure. Jesus. Right, so we have to head to head out to save her sister, but before we do that, we're going to bring this part to a close and continue in the next one. So for now, stay safe and well, everyone, and I'll see you over on the other side. See you next time.